I'm Steve Bondi. I'm the Stewardship Director at the Meadow Conservancy. Most recently we've started a project called the Beaver Relocation Project. We're relocating nuisance beavers from the main stem Meadow, Chewak, and Twist Rivers to higher elevation streams where they can actually do good as engineers by damming small streams, creating wetlands and habitat for fish and wildlife, but most importantly, storing water for late season flow. So that's, that's the project in a nutshell. <laughs> Around 2001 or 2002, John Rohr, who's the local biologist for the Meadow Valley Ranger District, he was removing nuisance beavers as part of his job. And he knew of a couple of places up on the National Forest where beaver used to be active, but weren't. And what was a wetland had turned to sort of a wet meadow, and then it turned dry, and then it sort of had lost its wetland characteristics. And he pretty much on his own relocated some beavers up to some areas in the Meadow Ranger District. And it took a few years, but after a little bit of time, they stuck. They do incredible amounts of engineering, probably more than people do. So John said, if I can get them from here to there, and we can do it on a little larger scale, maybe we can really do some things that are beneficial on a watershed scale. We think the longest lasting effects of a project is a chance to work with people and, and talk to them about what we're up to. And we've had programs with Little Star Montessori School, the community school, the public schools. We've had tours with the public, people from different agencies and organizations. Some of them are funding our project, others are interested in starting similar projects and other drainages. One of our big, our big focuses is education and education through stewardship. So we are visible in the community and that's been one of our real um, positive aspects the last 10 years or so. And this project is charismatic because most people know beavers. Most people have different impressions of them, but um, to get up close and personal as we did today is, is pretty unique for a lot of people. In terms of education and exposure, it's really a means of introducing people to concepts of water quality, fisheries and fisheries habitat, land stewardship and conservation opportunities. And we're hoping to go into the future, we've got a 10-year implementation plan. A lot of people, especially funders, are looking for pretty quick returns on their investment. We've relocated close to 100. I don't know the exact number over three years, but I just got word from our crew leader today that right now there's 13 active beaver groups um, where we've released them. We've got some beavers active in old beaver ponds and wet meadows that we assume used to be old beaver ponds, but weren't recently. By building beaver dams on stream systems, we're, we have more surface area and more area for the water to infiltrate the aquifer. And so for every gallon of surface water stored, there's about 10 gallons subsurface in the aquifer. When you start accumulating all these ponds, surface and all the subsurface storage, you really get a, a, a large, meaningful volume of water stored and that's that's what everyone's looking for. We know we're not going to educate everybody and we're not really trying to but we're working with people that we might not work with otherwise. Beaver might be plugging the ditch or the culvert or the, the intake to their um, fish screen or something. We're doing them a service. If we can take those same beaver and relocate them up high, we're doing them another service by storing water for their later season irrigation. It's a hard cause and effect to prove and pinpoint exactly, but most folks are open to the theory and are buying it. We're getting some mileage out of that too. <laughs> Everybody has a role to play in the bigger project. It's a big team effort. I'm talking as the voice of the, the project, but in reality, the folks that you saw today that were at the hatchery doing the tour, that's our seasonal crew. No one person can do this on their own. It's, it's really, as a project, it's defined as the uh, really the, the project partners are coming together on. And we hopefully will do it as long as there's opportunity. If we do it correctly and we do it uh, well, we'll, we'll know, we'll, we'll stop. <laughs> the beavers will be uh, doing their work in places uh, and self-perpetuating. So.